what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we have some gameplay video um this past week i got some gameplay of some vegeta on vegeta uh action so we got the yellow vegeta to your left and the blue vegeta to your right i'm i'm piloting the blue vegeta um the actual blue color vegeta and then um shout out to jimmy uh he's a new friend of mine just was just introduced he's from canada uh he was visiting uh virginia and you know he came uh, came to no uh, locals and um yeah he heard that i played uh, some fusion roles so he went, decided to play and you know he's quite quite good he's a great pilot of uh, yellow vegeta i'm pretty sure the best pilot i've seen um piloting vegeta and um his deck list is really good and you know he knows how to play so i just wanted to highlight uh some gameplay uh while, while he was here so uh he's going first um he goes ahead and charges the three drop uh gohan then he goes ahead and um uh, plays the yamu just on play draw one card very very simple and um like i said i'm on the right obviously um uh, i charge the krillin I'll go ahead and play Trunks, draw a card, and swing with my lead, drawing the card. So the purpose of my Blue Vegeta deck is um, obviously um, trying to stay at a, at a high life um, throughout the game. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to do. And he go ahead and swing with his leader uh, for actual 20, uh, forcing me to uh, take a life. Granted, I could have probably uh, comboed out with a 10K, but I went ahead not to do that. I would go ahead and charge a, a scythe there. And I don't, I, don't, I don't think I opened Videl, but I do open up with a Krillin. So on play, uh, he plus fives himself and uh, plus five the leader also. So. He's a two drop 20k essentially, and he's a 10k combo. So I think the stats are actually really, really good on the Krillin. And um, and you're able to grab it off of Videl from the drop area also. Then I'm swinging 20 with my uh, leader also, but granted he is on the front side. So uh, he combos out with the Death Ball extra card, uh, g giving it, I'm pretty sure, 15k. And then um, resting a battle card on, your, on my side of the field that's three or less, and he rests the, the trunks. But swings with lead, draws a card, uh, forcing me to use another card out my hand instead of using that trunks. So he, he used that uh, death ball very, very well just now. And uh, I think I go ahead and combo out with the three drop trunks. And then he go ahead and plays a Majin Buu. So the Majin Buu is a three drop, 25K. No combo power, but this card does have um barrier the keyword barrier so bar barrier is very very strong and it's and it's the only card in the game that has barrier and there's nothing to get rid of cards with barrier currently in the game so but uh as you can see krillin is getting more value you know your opponent's still on the front side so uh the 15k is still relevant um but then he swings with his vegeta and I combo with a uh, Trunks. I think I, I think I combo with it. Yeah, to, just to get it back with the, the peel off so I can play it again. Yep, there we go. That's where I remember. And I draw into a Vegito, a three drop Vegito. I think back then I just, I just passed after that. Yeah, but let's see what Jimmy does here. And I should have got while, while, while he's here. I mean, I should have got like a debt profile for him from him. This is um, he showed me his list, but I, I should have went ahead and just did like a whole profile on because he actually pilots the deck really, really well. Um, he goes ahead and awakens. If you don't know what the yellow uh, Vegeta does at the end of your turn, you get to uh, restand two energy, so that's very, very good. So you're essentially using more energy than you have. But then he plays another Majin Buu, another 25K pressure towards me. Then he just does uh, 20K towards my leader. Then I combo out with a peel off. 
then swings another 25 uh towards my leader forcing me basically since i'm not awakened uh forcing me to i'm pretty sure i take the damage here all right combo out with a built-in in the trunks but then he swings another 25k towards my leader and i go ahead and take that damage and i finally find my my videl right there but then he plays the boma this boma is a new, another um new addition to the to the to that leader this on play switch this card to rest mode and grab a extra card from your drop and add it to your hand so that's very very good um if you don't clear the boma you'll just get a lot more value from her um in the future so you want to go ahead and clear that boma but he does use time rewound and restand the boma there I, uh, I go ahead and use the Vegito because I want to go ahead and get rid of the Boma. Granted, I could have possibly just swung. Oh no, never mind. He restored. He restored. He restored it. So yeah, that's why. I, yeah, that's why I played the Vegito. So I go 25 to lead. Granted, I could possibly just use to swung at one of the boos, forcing him to use a card because essentially, if you do KO a uh, boo. You're able to pitch a card and re uh, grab it back from your drop area. So I could have done that also. I guess it could have been like the exact same thing, but I go ahead and play a Boma, give my leader 10K. So I'm swinging for 25 towards this leader. Then yeah, he combos out with his own 10K. But uh, <clears throat> earlier before we started recording, um we played uh, a whole game i i uh two owed him and um very very straight uh long games uh but when you once you see the um once you see these videos i upload he spoiler alert, <laughs> two owes me uh back but um yeah i go ahead and take the life because these uh, Majin Buu's are just very, very oppressive. I take that life also. So I have two Videls in my hand currently. He go ahead and plays the Vegeta. Essentially has dual attack, swings for 25 towards lead. Then he's able to restand and pop a card four or less, I think, on my side of the field. Then restands it and, you know, another swing. So he has essentially four attacks of 25K towards my leader. Very, very strong. Yeah, a combo, combo of my. Then he plays um, Boma. Boma is basically like essentially just a a draw from your drop area. And grabs back the extra. You could say that she's a peel off in some ways. I go ahead and charge a Vegito. Did I go ahead and play Scythe, I believe, to get rid of the Boma and Vegeta? To get some value out of that card. And then I believe I play the Videl here using my energy marker. Showing that I, I think I have seven in hand right then. I use leader effect, but I swing with Videl to grab a peel off back and just combo in for 20 there. I only do 20 towards my opponent, so <clears throat> there's a lot of combo power within um, within yellow. As you can see, he uses an extra card to go higher than 20 so i'm basically making him use his energy and extra cards up just to get rid of um just to get out of like small smaller attacks so that was my that was my goal for the just the 20k uh chip damage towards the vegeta all right so he restands everything charges to five 
No, oh, charges the six. He's at six currently. He swings towards Videl. I think I combo out of this potentially with the Vegito. It's 25 towards lead. I think I combo out with that. The peel off. Another 25. The 25 oppression is crazy with those Majin Buu. Then he goes ahead and plays the um, the secret rare Frieza, popping my Videl and swinging for 40k towards my leader. And I go ahead and take that damage. All right, now this freeze is very, very oppressive because I do play a lot of five drop cards and uh, granted, I am to get, I am able to get rid of um, like six drops and stuff, but it takes takes away my whole turn just to do that. Reduce, I played peel off, playing the Mai, reducing the cost of the Frieza, then go ahead and play Trunks to bounce back the Frieza back to hand. Then I use leader fat to gain the 10k, swinging towards. See right here, I misplay right here. I should have swung with the trunks first to play around the the Frieza extra card, the death ball. And I'm pretty sure he uses death ball and something else to rest my trunks, I believe. I could be wrong. Or he just uses a uh, super combo. I can't remember clearly. But yeah, there we go. Uses a death ball, rest the uh, trunks. <sighs> yeah, and uses the 10k combo to get out of it. So I went ahead. I should have swung with the trunks first, so I can play around the death ball. But I didn't do that. So there's one less card uh, in my opponent's hand. It could be potentially another card towards his life. But um, you know, I misplayed there. But you know, I'm feeling okay um i have three 10ks so that's essentially um he's not usually uh comboing with those trunk i mean those majin boo so the 10ks represents um a block against the majin boos but i'm pretty sure he doesn't uh charge here he swings at life i think i combo out potentially no i use a my right i do Granted, I do have a lot of zero Ks in my hand. Unfortunately, I know I have a, uh, not a my, but of a Dell, a five drop Vegeta, and a um, Gohan, I believe. But yeah, he just replays the the Majin, uh, not Majin, but uh, the Frieza, the Golden Frieza, and now I have to deal with that once again because Trunks doesn't bottom deck. He just bounces it back in hand. See, in other in other matchups, the bounce would have been amazing. Uh, but Vegeta, he, he's able to, um, yeah, he's able to uh, do a lot more with his energy since he's able to untap too. So he's able to just freely uh, play the six energy, but then um, protect himself with the two extra energy, essentially having eight energy altogether. And I go ahead and charge a Kibito. Now, at the Vegeta, he does have a essentially a small um, hand size. If I go ahead and play the Videl. Go towards the opponent, swinging for 20, grabbing back the trunks. So I believe I have a might have another peel off in hand and or a my yeah i do have a my he takes the damage i played a my reduce the cost of the uh freezer to become a five drop and i play trunks again bouncing back the the freezer back to hand swinging 20 towards lead
Use, using leader effect. Swing for 35 towards towards lead. And super combos out. Then I peel off, grabbing back another peel off, and I pass turn. All right. Let's see if he charges again. Wait, did he even draw for turn? I can't remember if he even drew for turn just now. But yeah, he swings 20 at, could be possibly uh, swing at a battle card so he can get rid of these cards on my opponent's on my side of the field. I think he's doing 20 towards lead to do to do pressure. Get some pressure out of my hand. I yeah, go ahead and combo out with, with a Goten and place the Frieza for the third time. KO in the Videl. I think Golden Frieza might be like very, very slept on. I swing for 25. I mean, uh, not me, but Jimmy <laughs> swings for 25, uh, 30 towards myself, I believe. I'm pretty sure I used the mine peel off on board to get rid of, to um, get away from the damage. Granite, looking back. Oh wait, I think I'm at two life. I could potentially take this life, but I'm at two life, so I didn't want him like to dump with the Majin Buu. And also, he didn't he didn't even swing with the Frieza yet, just yet. Swings twenty five towards lead. Combo out with a Krillin. He does 40 towards lead. I think I take this damage. Granted, he is at three life, and I'm about to be at one, I believe. Yeah, I take, I take, I take the damage. And then he plays the Bulma, grabbing back the extra card basically drawing for drawing another card and untapping two energy and passes so he has the defense up with the frieza the majin boost for the attack and the boma to reoccur hand size from the drop area now here i'm pretty sure i had a zeno in hand and i was contemplating on playing the zeno but i am at one life also but granted he's at three but I'm, I am trying to apply pressure to, towards my opponent because I'm pretty sure I'm at one. Oh, not pretty sure. I am at one life and I don't see myself um, um, surviving next turn. So he's asking me how many mods I have. I've used just the two. And he combos out using the, um, the the death ball. I I learned my lesson from not swinging with the the trunks before, so I I go ahead and swung with the trunks um, before I did anything else. Then I peel off, I believe, here, grabbing back another peel off the peel off loop. Like I'm really, really thinking right now. I was like, man, how can I attempt to beat him? So I go ahead and grab the Bulma. Grab the Bulma and potentially. I use leader effect. You know, I'm at seven or less cards in hand. I know time rewound does give 
the leader 20k power also if i do a grave mistake here if i do 35 towards my opponent 35 45 i think i combo an extra card to potentially get my opponent down to two life I think I do 50, no, uh, 55. Yeah, opponent only has four cards, so I was like, yeah, 55. Hopefully you take this damage. And I think he just takes the damage there. Granted, I make a grave, grave mistake. Cause I was like, yo, you got two life? I was like, yeah, all right, I got him now. I said, I go ahead and play the Vegeta, the five drop Vegeta, forgetting, 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 forgetting about Frieza's permanent. And that's game right there, guys. I misplayed this whole entire time. I was thinking about, um, this whole entire time I was getting thinking about um getting rid of, getting rid of Frieza and doing a double strike. I mean not getting rid of Frieza, but doing a double strike, but I forgot about Golden Frieza's um permanent. And uh yeah. I just misplayed right there. Yeah, very, very good. Uh Frieza and uh very, very strong. That that secret rare. And uh yeah, shout out to Jimmy again. Um for uh for the games and i catch you guys later until next time peace